What's up YouTube? So I ordered me a new 2022 F350 and um, had to have a, another train horn. So called up my guys at Air Horns of Texas and said, hey, look, I just ordered a new truck. I want the loudest train horn you guys offer. So they sent me a Nathan K3LA horn with uh I got an eight and a half gallon Air Max tank with dual Air Max 580 compressors. So I'm kind of just going to show you where I mounted everything, how everything's hooked up, and let you guys hear this monster of a horn. So if you guys checked out my other YouTube video, um, uh, Air Horns of Texas hooked me up with another horn, and basically it was awesome, but was nowhere near as awesome as this. So. I mounted the train horns right there, directly in the middle of the truck, right in front of the tank. There was an open place. I had a custom bracket made. Uh, basically, it just comes down enough to get out of the, the uh, drive shaft's way. But these horns are absolutely ridiculous. They're the loudest horns I've ever heard on any vehicle whatsoever um it really doesn't matter which way you put the horns uh these are facing the passenger side let me open up this i had the tank installed i have dual air max 580 compressors in front of it kind of hard to see but they're right in front of the tank The, I went ahead and had an air system put on the truck since I got an eight and a half gallon tank. Went ahead and put a quick connect right here. That way, if I ever need air in my tires or I ever need air in my camper tires, I got a 50 foot hose right there that I just hook up and I got a hundred and about 175 pounds of pressure with eight and a half gallons of air. Um, my last horn I done, I, I actually removed the spare tire on this truck. I was able to keep the spare tire because I went in front of the tank. Everything's the same on the switches. I had the tank put. I had the compressors actually put on auxiliary five and I had the horn put on auxiliary six. Um, the horn itself if you just open it up, it emptied the tank in about eight or nine seconds. Uh, takes probably a good five to six minutes to fill up the tank with the dual compressor. Okay, so with the kit, you're gonna get instructions, you're gonna get the pressure switch, you're gonna get the regulator, you're gonna get everything you need to complete, complete this horn install. Uh, the instructions are very detailed. If you're mechanically inclined whatsoever, it should not be an issue. Uh, there might be, you know, you might have a little bit of a, when you when you have to fabricate something, like I had to have the mount made, but that's different for every vehicle. You just gotta figure out somewhere to hook the, put the horn at, but pretty simple to do. But let me tell you, this horn is absolutely insane. So real quick on the switches for your system. I highly recommend putting your compressor on a switch, not straight wiring it to your battery because it's almost impossible to have any, you know, any system like this without some sort of leak. So I highly recommend putting it on a switch by itself. I keep mine on number five. Not sure if you can hear that, but both compressors just kicked on inside the bed of the truck. It's a little bit louder than my last system because it's two compressors but it's with the radio up, it's you really can't even hear it. Once those compressors reach, I think it's 165 PSI, they'll both cut off. Number six is gonna be my act, the, the button that actually engages the horn. So I highly recommend putting those on separate switches. That way you can turn on the compressor when you don't wanna use it and turn it on when you do wanna use it. All right, guys, I'm about, 300 feet away. It 
it just quit echoing crazy so I went back and watched the playback to the video and I really don't think it's going to do it much justice uh, this horn is crazy crazy loud it's it's at least 10 times louder than my last horn and my last horn was the loudest horn that I've ever had on a, on a vehicle or really ever heard Give, give my guys at Air Horns of Texas a call. They will hook you up. They will take care of you. Anything you need, they got it. They, they will, from start to finish, they have everything. The compressors, the tanks, the horns. They got anything you want. If you want the loudest train horn on the market, buy the kit that I have right now. It's unbelievable. I can't even explain to you how loud it is. If you're on a budget, and you really can't fork out that kind of money for a train horn, check out my other video. I'll put a link in the description. Um, you can get into that setup for about 600 bucks and it's crazy loud too. Also, go ahead, it's not much money with, with any system that you do, go ahead and add the air system to your truck or your car, or whatever you're putting it on. It's simple you run an extra line with a quick disconnect and so it's very cheap and you have basically onboard air for anything you need um, go ahead and add that it's easy they'll include it in the kit uh, the kit they sent me had everything included i didn't have to buy anything everything was there reach out to my guys at airhornsoftexas.com let them know that you saw jeremy's video and you want the nathan K3LAs. Crazy loud. Crazy loud. You'll love it.